Welcome to Informatica Supports Multimedia KB session. My name is Vimal and in this session I'm going to show how to automate the backing up process of the repository and domain schema in Power Center. It is always recommended to keep regular backup copies of the domain and repository contents for purposes such as disaster recovery, maintenance, or if you need to restore the environment to a previous state in the past time period. There are a certain set of commands that can be invoked from the command line to back up the repository and domain schema. Adding these commands into a script file helps to automate the backing up process and avoid any user intervention. I have logged into a Linux machine for the purpose of this demo and as you can see I'm currently in the Informatica home slash server slash bin directory. So this is the directory from where I invoke the commands to back up the repository. So to back up the repository first I need to connect to the repository. The command that needs to be used to connect to the repository is pmrep connect. Invoking this command gives me the set of parameters that I can use with the pmrep connect command. So assuming that I have already connected to the repository the command that I use to back up the repository is pmrep backup. Invoking this command gives me the list of parameters that I can use to backup the repository. So I have these commands listed out in a notepad for the purpose of this demo. So talking about the pmrep connect first. The minus r option is the name of the repository and minus d option is the name of the domain and minus n option is the name of the username connecting to the domain and minus x is the password used to connect to the domain and pmrep backup in the in this command the minus o parameter lists the directory where i'm going to save the repository backup file and it also includes the name of the backup file that i'm going to provide minus b parameter is a parameter that's used to skip the workflow and session logs so that I can keep the repository size to a bare minimum and minus F option means force and it overrides any pre-existing repository file names in the directory listed with the minus parameter minus O parameter if it all if it already exists so if, if there are any files that are existing in this directory named rep backup.rep the minus f option overrides those existing file so now i want to show how to backup the power center domain so for that purpose i change the directory back up to one so uh, one level and i'm currently in the informatica home server directory in this directory the command that i use to backup my domain is infasetup.sh backup domain. Running this command will give me the list of parameters that I can use with the infasetup.sh backup domain command. So again for the purpose of this demo I have the backup domain command listed out in the notepad. So infasetup.sh backup domain space the minus da parameter lists the domain database server and the port that I use to connect to the database. The minus du and the minus dp parameters lists the domain username and password of the schema. The minus ds is the service name of the database and minus dt lists the type of the domain database and in this case it's an oracle database that I'm connecting to and minus bf is the domain backup file name minus dn is the domain name and minus f means force which means it overrides any pre-existing domain backup files with the same name so to automate this process what I have done is I have created a shell script named backup.sh so opening up that file um, the first command that I'm invoking is the backup domain command to back up my domain and then I'm doing an echo saying that I'm connecting to the repository so that I know um, I'm the process that has been initiated to connect to the repository 
and I'm invoking the pm rep connect command and I'm doing another echo to so that I know that the backing up of the repository contents has started and then I'm invoking the pm rep backup command um, to back up the repository contents. The echo commands have been added here only for clarity so the ma the commands that we are interested in is only the infra setup dot sh backup domain pm rep connect and pm rep backup so let's go ahead and run the backup dot sh executable so this has started the backing up of the domain contents and as you can see the backup process has succeeded for the domain and the repository connection has also s connected successfully and the process has completed and the backup process has been started and succeeded now so now I am in the server directory and if I run a list on any dot MREP files it should list my domain backup file and now I'm changing to the server bin directory and if I do a list for any .rep files, it should list the repository backup files here. So running the script has successfully backed up the domain and the repository contents. So if you want to refer to any command reference guides um, for the syntaxes for the infra setup.sh and pm rep commands, you can open any power center client tool such as designer or the workflow manager go to the help tab and in the contents tab you can refer to the command reference chapter or you can log into the URL listed here and refer to the command reference guides. I hope this demo was useful and we would love to hear back from you with any suggestions and inputs and thank you very much.